Chernobyl summer. Let's listen to the birds sing. Let's listen to the Geiger counters sing. And let's take a stroll and look at remains of the past. Okay. All right, so I'm back at Pripyat, back at the Ferris wheel. And this is Taras from EcoTest, who brought us some nice devices here. And uh, he brought us one detector that can uh, measure gamma radiation. It's a Poshuk. And uh, you can see we're in a well, semi-hot spot with like 7 microsieverts of power. He also brought a portable radiation detector for the smartphone, which actually seems to give us accurate readings pretty much. 8.7 microsieverts per hour. And uh, this nice portable gamma spectrometer, which also has a neutron channel. Um, and uh, yeah, it's, it's a very light white thing with a, a receiver which you can just wear on your arm and display either equivalent dose rate, microsievert per hour, or you could even display uh, the gamma spectrum, which you could just show us, please. All right, and that's pretty <laughs> right. much the Compton continuum that you can see there on the left, and that, that big one broad peak is uh, cesium-137, so the usual contamination that you would expect around here, but it's uh, quite nice that Taros brought us all these detectors and it's very portable like this. It's not like my big gamma spectrometer where I would have to, to carry my laptop around and uh, you know the big scintillator and everything. But this is just that and contains a neutron channel so that's some pretty cool stuff. Now let me just uh, put in the energy compensated automass device as well. And just put that right where this detector is as well. Put that around. Yeah, you can see. It's not far off. I mean, we're in a different location, so um, it might just be a different dose rate, different contamination. But it's pretty accurate, as it seems. At least for this spot. We'll try it out more later. Indeed, we're gonna check out these lovely devices in a much, much hotter situation later on. For now, uh, thanks to EcoTest for providing them for the duration of my trip. And uh, yeah, feel free to check out ecotest.ua for the wide range of products. But now, let's continue. Here's an old school, and it has collapsed entirely. But let's get to a tank. By the way, I believe some people asked that in the previous videos. That is actually an external alpha beta probe for the automass, not for the CDV or anything. Yeah, you should, you should try here. <laughs> Stalker camp. You're gonna leave Stalker's camp alone in this little box. The radiation ventilation. Hmm? Beautiful flowers in bloom. At least it would be beautiful if it wasn't for my damn hay fever. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, it is contaminated. <laughs> Not to a bad extent, but you can definitely measure it. Enough to cause an alarm. It's just a couple counts. Yeah, 45 counts per second. All right, all right, I'll dig up some nuclear foam. I know uh, you want me to. Over a millisievert here already. You can try the energy compensated thing. Yeah, I'm gonna... Oh, it's like energy compensated, it's 200 microsievert power, but that's still probably another hot particle. 
they're scattered all around the area. I'm just gonna use this to protect the tube. It's still there. Probably not there. Uh, oh, it is. Okay. Mm -hmm. And sometimes there are birds in the ground. Oh, it's here. Uh -huh. Okay, so we can probably. Oh, we can do it on the plastic here. Yep. Oh, that's oh. it. <laughs> that's probably it. But it, is it the entire chunk, or because it's not that hot, so it can't actually be. Like yeah. if, if it was a fuel fragment that big, any any counter would go off scale at this distance. But mm. not sure, not sure where that is. But it's not that hot. I think it must be like on the corner or something lodged on the corner, maybe. You can clean it with water to see if anything washes off. Let's walk over to the water and go a little bit so I can see more clearly. I don't see anything like a tiny particle washed into it, so probably it's the, it's the whole thing that is hot for some reason. Okay. So that thing entirely. Open up for beta. Oh, oh yeah. Yes, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'm off the scale here. On any scale? Yeah. Even on a times hundred? <laughs> right. Yeah. yeah. Well, the, it just goes to yeah, times hundred, yeah. So there's definitely a lot of beta there. Yeah. Yeah, if I do like alpha, like anything on this one, it's like Yeah, I've got the Alpha Pro, but at this point if it's maxing out on beta, I don't the, the yeah. alpha is gonna be <laughs> All right, so much for fun and games. Next time I'll dig up something that is 1,000 times as hot as this.